A teenager in Maryland is shaken up after a terrifying attack on a school bus. Happened late Monday afternoon when a bus carrying students home from an alternative middle school stopped at a stop sign. A girl got off, but three others rushed on board. The bus driver said she saw the suspects try to shoot the boy in the head. Investigators say at that point, one of the suspects then pointed a gun at the boy's chest and pulled the trigger, but the gun jammed. Now today, we got breaking news. Baby K2800, the alleged brother of Cruddy2800, has been arrested for the attempted murder of the 14-year-old on the school bus. On May 1st, what seemed to be a routine bus stop will turn to terror as three individuals apparently hopped on the bus and started beating up a 14-year-old kid. It was then that one of the individuals pulled out a gun and aimed it at their chest and shot three times. Luckily, the gun jammed, but this still managed to make national news. The crazy thing is, this whole situation was set up by a 14-year-old girl. Now, some of you may be shocked that kids this young might be going so violent, but I'm not shocked at all. All these kids probably went to Green Valley. Green Valley's not your regular school. Only kids who've got kicked out from all the other schools or have criminal charges go to alternative schools. But the story keeps going on. Apparently, after making national news, Baby K would try to make a run for it, asking his associates who helped him jump the kid for hiding spots. One of the associates probably recommended his sister, and he stayed there in Northeast DC. But when the sister realized the situation was getting too hot, she asked him to leave. And this is when Baby K wasn't having it. He apparently flipped out and murdered the sister of one of his defendants. 23-year-old Kasia McCoy was found murdered two days after the attacks on the bus in 3700 Jameson Street, Northeast. This is yet another DMV rapper being locked away. Baby K is being charged as an adult, but knowing the DMV juvenile justice system, he'll probably be out in about five years. In other news, Moneybag KZ, the self-proclaimed millionaire of DC rap, is back and at it again. He's been seen constantly dragging on fallen rapper Semi Omi, but now it finally seems like he has a new op to drag on. Loso from Southwest chain had been stolen, and Moneybag KZ didn't waste no time. They said check on your homeboy, Sam. They said man, check on your homeboy, and they ain't making in the car, Sam. What's that in there? Bad. Stop that. Stop the Hold on, let me see your chain. What the fuck? I say Loso. Oh, Loso. Oh, he was trying me to talk, man. That's why I came oh. to. Let me see the back. No, you gotta flip it, bro. You gotta wear the chain flip. Yeah, you gotta yeah. wear it like that. Hey, or my so. mother, you gotta wear it like that. Yeah, man. Too much respect on that name, man. You've been saying this came with my man, name. Okay, man. We're gonna flip the whole chain. We ain't even wearing it on that. Bitch side. ass niggas don't even check with Lenise or nothing, you bitch ass. Man, you a bitch. It seems like a lot of DMV rappers who were beefing with each other were once all cool with a little Neff, but after his death, everything seemed to change. Now KZ Friend continued to be on live to drag on all his ops, and you can see what happened later. I'm here because I've been getting death threats. Oh, my mother ain't gotta be on point, bro. The way my, the way this Jones set up, like you know, like a nigga wouldn't do no shit, bro. But you don't know because you don't come around, bro. So I'm just telling you. 